The Party's 2011, a series of free time election broadcasts presented by CBC Television and its affiliated stations. In this edition, messages from the Conservative Party of Canada and the Liberal Party of Canada. What's this election all about? It starts with leadership. Stephen Harper has led our country through a global recession with a steady, determined hand. He has worked hard for families, bringing taxes down and keeping our recovery on track. And he's taken action to protect our borders, not from those who we welcome, but from human smugglers who take advantage of our generosity. Strong leadership, lower taxes, tough on human smuggling. Why would we risk changing course? Stephen Harper, here for Canada, here for us. Canada welcomes those who want to build a better future. But our openness doesn't extend to criminals who target Canadian generosity. Stephen Harper has a plan to crack down on human smugglers and bogus claimants who jump the queue. And Michael Ignatieff and his coalition partners? They oppose temporarily detaining illegal migrants. They even oppose tougher sentences for human smugglers. Ignatieff and his reckless coalition. Weak on border security. Dangerously soft on crime. Canada is and always has been our country. And we want Canada to be a true north that is as strong and as free as it can be in every way that matters. The best country in the world. That's why we're here. That's why we strive. That's why we serve. Canada must reflect the true character of the Canadian people. Honorable in our dealings, faithful to our commitments, loyal to our friends. By turns, a courageous warrior and a compassionate neighbor. It is our purpose that Canada must be great. It must be great for all Canadians. It must be a country of hope and an example to the world. And only when it is these things, when Canada is all that it can be, only then can we say that our work is done. Next, the Liberal Party of Canada. Stephen Harper is spending millions attacking me, and it makes me angry because it lowers the bar for everyone else. It says if you step outside of Canada and go anywhere else, you're less of a Canadian. Who's he kidding? Right now, two million Canadians are working internationally. 20% of Canadians were born outside of the country. That's a strength, not a weakness, and it's a Canada we should all be proud of. I spent the 1990s mostly as a war correspondent working for the BBC and the CBC and I'm not sure I was ever in big deal danger. I don't want to overdo this, but it is frightening to be shot at. I had one experience also of uh, crossing a checkpoint and just after I came past the checkpoint, this was in the Balkans, a bunch of paramilitaries all liquored up, all drunk as skunks grabbed me out of the van, grabbed my crew out of the van. They were going to take us away. And uh, just as they were about to drag us out of the van, a Canadian soldier appeared out of nowhere. He'd been at the checkpoint. And he rushed up, put his hand in the win through the window of the, the bus, pulled out the keys, and said, we're going to do this my way. I've never forgotten that. And then he clicked his uh, carbine so there'd be no mistake. Paramilitaries let, let us go. But that peacekeeper from Moncton, New Brunswick, who maybe saved my life, you know, is my example of how Canada ought to be in the world. We ought to be out there on the front lines making sure people don't kill each other. It's a good thing for Canada to do. We're respected, we're trusted, and we're darn good soldiers. That's the kind of vision I have of the country. Preceding messages were prepared by the Conservative Party of Canada and the Liberal Party of Canada. The political parties shared this series of free-time election broadcasts.